Hallelujah. While we were worshiping and praising God, you may be seated. Hallelujah. 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 There's a buzzing sound. This good sound. While we're worshiping God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. While we're praising the Lord. The Lord spoke a word to me. I gave it to Tony, but it's for all of us. You don't sit on your trouble. You don't sit on your trouble. You don't sit on your trouble. I'm going to repeat that until you get it in your spirit. You don't sit on your trouble. You don't sit on your trouble. He dances over you. He dances over you. You dance over your trouble. You shout over your trouble. You declare over your trouble. <laughs> you declare over your trouble. The Bible says to me that he dances over me. And he enthrones himself in my praises. Okay, two people believe that. He says he enthrones himself in my praises. All right, you don't believe it. It's in the Bible. He says he enthrones himself in the praises of the saints. Unless you are not a saint, I am a saint. I'm washed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm being justified. I've been created as a new creation in Jesus Christ. And the Bible tells me that when I raise up my voice and sing hallelujah, every praise unto the Lord, the Lord enthrones himself in my praises. He puts him the garments around himself. Now you know how to invite Jesus now in your boat. Because people say, how do I invite both Jesus in my boat? You praise him. You dance with him. And he will bring them in. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm glad you're here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and tell your other neighbor, I'm glad that I'm here this morning. I'm glad that I'm here this morning. Amen. Amen. And now look around and say, you all look so good this morning. You all look so good. You all look so good this morning. You look all so good this morning. Well, I didn't want I didn't want to say that so publicly, but that's all right. <laughs> I learned something from Pastor Enoch. That the name Amos means we. So I use from now on the title we, even if it's me. <laughs> because I'm Amos. Because when he was tired on, on, thir- on Wednesday night, he says, we are tired. <laughs> I said, I'm not. <laughs> he says, we are Amos. So we are all together. <laughs> when I'm tired, you're tired. <laughs> so we look good. Amen. We look good. Amen. We look good this morning. Amen. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. This morning, uh, I want to uh, greet you in the most precious name of Jesus. And I want to like to uh, welcome our visitors this morning. Uh, all of visitors where you are just stand. This is your first time to stand. We want to welcome you this morning. We have one person, a, a friend from Japan. Yes, we want to welcome him this morning. We are so glad that you are here this morning. Amen. And then welcome back, uh, Mona. Wow, it's so good to see Mona in the house again. Wow, it's been a while. It's been a while, a long while. We are glad to see her. Amen. Just in case you do not know who Mona is, Mona is Sister Hopi's daughter-in-law. And, uh, and, and, and she's my sister from another mother. <laughs> we are Persians. <laughs> she, Amis. Uh, we, 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 are, we, are, we are Persian. 
You know, uh, it's, it's, good to be, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Uh, our, our dear friends and brothers and family from Taiwan, Pastor Enoch and his lovely wife, Pastor Cynthia, we're so glad that you've been with us these last few days. And we are so glad that you are going to be here with us a few more days. Uh, but they are going to be leaving us very soon. I'm going to see them soon. But you will not see them soon. Unless I drag them back. Uh, I think I can drag him back. Because I have a plan. <laughs> My plan is to improve his English. So, so the only way his English improves is if he comes to an English speaking country. I was thinking about it. Because Pastor Siam had a plan for Amos. That Amos would come here every three months for three weeks to uh, with Colin and practice their English. I said that's good. They can do that. But he is my friend and my brother. I will just try to twist his arms. And say, if you love me. Come and be with me. I won't tell him feed my sheep. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have sheep. <laughs> he has all the sheep. <laughs> and when he tells me I love you, but he's not willing, I will ask him again. Until he says finally yes. <laughs> we'll see how that will work out. <laughs> but uh, they're leaving on Thursday. Uh, actually, Friday morning, early in the morning. They will be here one more time with us on Tuesday. And somehow, I was during the worship, I said, man, we didn't get Colin to preach. Because Amos is going to be preaching this morning. I said, well, we have Tuesday. We have Tuesday. We have Tuesday. So, sorry, brother, you can't get away. You know? These are two young pastors that just got ordained. And I believe that we need to make a way and get out of the way. That's right, amen. amen. I believe we need to make a way and get out of the way. Because I believe that they're carrying something. That if we keep on being underway, we cannot release the full flow of the Lord. We need to do that. And, and I know that the Lord is speaking the same thing to Pastor Enoch's heart. And God has a plan for it. And, and, and we will follow the plans of the Lord. Because the Lord wants us to be like him, the way maker. He is the way maker. But through us, he, ma he causes us to make ways for people. And we need to be obedient to that. So Tuesday, 8 p.m. Your house churches. Thursday and Friday, evangelism downtown. But this morning, we have an amazing man of God. Amazing man of God. In the form of Pastor Amos. So, uh, you know, Amos Moose. He is, I found out that we are alike a lot. Because he's like his father. And his father is like me. <laughs> and I'm like his father. Is that a trinity? <laughs> yeah, I'm like his father. <laughs> I told him yesterday. <laughs> These people ask me where you're from. I will tell him from his heart. <laughs> you know, so, God, <laughs> I'm like his father. 
But uh, I got to know Pastor Amos and Pastor Collins so wonderfully this last week. So in the past this week, I got to know them more deeply. And you, Amos and Collins, I can tell you, I can tell you, you get real people. You have a real people in them. They are very real. You have real people in them. They are very real. You have real people in them. They are very real. You have real people in them. They are genuinely in love with God. They are very real. You have real people in them. They are very real. You have real people in them. They are very real. You have real people in them. They are very real. And I love that. So I love them. Especially when you drink milk. Especially when you drink milk at night time. When you drink milk at night time. Ah, so when you drink milk at night time. With cereal. Oh, in eating that. I definitely know you're anointed. Eating that at night time. Cereal, cereal. Yeah, you guys know cereal. Cereal, yeah. So Pastor Amos is one that loves to drink milk. Oh, he also likes to drink milk. And in the middle of my conversation with with his father last night, I was distracted. So, so yesterday morning, when I was talking to my father, I was distracted. Because I said, there is only one more person in this world like me. He said, hey, in this world, there is another person like me. No matter how much you ate, no matter what you did, you have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. You have to have cereal before you go to bed. Honey oats. 还不是任何的，是要那个蜂蜜口味的。I said I know we will get a good word this morning. 所以我知道我们会得到一个很好的、很好、很好、很好的一个分享。Amen. Amen. So I want us to just welcome him this morning. 所以我们今天早上想要欢迎他。Pastor Amos, come. Amos 牧师。We will receive what the Lord has to say. 我们会领受神给我们的话。我们会宣告神的话。Amen. Come on, head. Amen. Amen. 请来。Hello， 哇，你好，呃，早安，孔尼吉瓦，孔尼吉瓦，哎呀，孔尼吉瓦，阿尼亚塞哟，阿尼亚塞哟，呃，孔巴瓦，嗯，其实上礼拜阿尼姆斯在在介绍我的时候 ，Actually, um, last week when Pastor Ali was introducing me， 呃，他说我的微笑很迷人。He said, "My smile is very attractive." Right? Now, I just finished my sermon. And then, right now, I've already finished my sermon today. I just found out that this church. And actually, I realized that when I came to this church, you have to have humor like Pastor Ali. You have to have humor like Pastor Ali. You have to have humor like Pastor Ali. And then you have right to stand here. So I yesterday night. So yesterday night. I came to the presence of God. 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 好不好？再次跟你旁边的人、前后左右的人讲说，今天早晨很开心看到你。And let's everyone greeting each other and then say, I'm glad to see you today here. Okay. <笑>我我觉得今天今天早晨，我觉得在呃阿林布斯在分享跟敬拜的时候，跟我今天要分享信息非常的呃非常有关联。Um, actually, when I was standing here and then listened what Pastor Ali was sharing during the praise time, and it's actually very similar to the message that I'm about to share. Amen. 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 And let's praise the Lord with your hands. Yeah. And then what my title is is to find your battlefield. And tell your neighbors today in the morning to find your battlefield. Okay. 找到找到一个能使你得胜的战场，是一个充满神同在的战场。To find a battlefield, that is the field that the God's presence is with you at the same time. 神不需要你站在战场的前线，你只需要站在你的战场上，看着神如何让你得胜。The Lord God doesn't want you to go to the front line, but the Lord God want 
you to stand at the battlefield that with God's presence beside you. Amen. So you know, in the Bible, he says that in the Bible, in the battlefield, Saul is more experienced than David. And actually, in the Bible, the scripture records that Saul has more experience than David. He 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 has more experience than David. And then Saul asked David to wear his armor and then to wear his weapon. So Saul, Saul, the Lord, thought he needed all these to defeat Goliath. Because in Saul's mind, he thinks that you have to have this in order for you to win the victory. But in fact, in the past, he won a lot of victories. And indeed, that actually Saul won a lot of battles because of his experience. So you know, that that time was God and Saul together. Because 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 that time was God and Saul together. So David 对扫罗王说：“我不能穿这些去迎战哥利亚。” So King, uh, so David is not the king yet. King, uh, David told um Saul, King Saul, I cannot wear this weapon to go to the battlefield. 因为因为他说我不习惯。Because I'm not used to it. 于是大卫把那个盔甲脱掉，拿拿了他的木杖，又在溪水边捡了五颗光滑的石头。Therefore, David took off. The armor that King Saul gave it to him, and then he went to the riverside and to pick the five stones. 然后他带着他的投石去投石器去迎战哥利亚。In the same time, he bring he bring his staff and then he bring his weapon and then to go to to fight Goliath. 亲爱的弟兄姐妹 ，Dear brother and sisters， 这代表神不再用过去的得胜得胜的方式来面对你现在的问题跟困难。Which means that God will never want you to use what you have won in the past to represent what you are here right now in this situation. Amen. 而是神改变了他的策略。And God changed His strategy. 他要用新的方式使你看见新的得胜。And God wanted to use a new way to let you to win the new battle. 重点不在于用什么方式。而是而是这伟大的神有没有与你同在 ？The most important thing is no matter what way God want you to use, but the most important thing is if you have God's presence with you. 所以大卫拿着他他他的投石器，口袋里装了五颗石头，另一只另一只手又拿着他的牧羊人的杖。So when David was holding the rod and also the weapon, and at the same time he was holding the staff, 他就站在这个战场上 And then he is standing in the battleground. 因为大卫知道神与他同在 Because David know that God's presence is with him. 但是哥利亚所有的所有非利士人都看不见伟大的神与大卫并肩作战 However, all the enemies and all those Philistines didn't see the presence of the Lord. It's actually there. 所以你要知道。扫罗王过去需要的，在过去那个时代需要的是一个战士。So you will know that actually back at that time, King Saul want a want a soldier with him. 但是神兴起了大卫。But God raised up David. 简单来说，现在这个时代需要，现在这个时代是一个牧羊人的时代。And let me put it this way: right now, this time is the time that we need the shepherd. 所以牧羊人是容易走进人群当中，也是一个非常平凡的身份。Because you know, actually, shepherd is the ordinary people, and then they can easily go to the crowd with the people. 就像耶稣走进人群当中去服侍需要的人。And it's exactly like Jesus Christ went to in the crowd with the people. 当你在走进人群当中的时候，没有任何人能认识你。When you are in the crowd with people, no one can recognize who you are. 但是你可以像耶稣一样，在人群当中释放出。But you can be act like Jesus Christ, and you can release the ordinary anointing to the people around you. So I want to slightly explain. In Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "So let me explain you a little bit." When Genesis chapter one, verse two, he says, "
when the earth was not formed yet. And then God's spirit is already starting to operate. And let me put in a simple way. And then it's exactly when you are busy with your life. When you are sleeping, when you are eating. When you are hanging out or when you are going to the movie with your friends. At the same time, God's spirit is already starting to operate in the ground area. So God is actually looking for a So God is actually looking for a shepherd who is willing to operate with God together. So God is actually looking for a shepherd who is willing to operate with God together. To work with the Lord God Father together. You have to know that every sermon that Jesus is not at a big evangelism event. It's not in a limited area. And then, but the whole city is actually an evangelism place. Jesus is not only to preach to the city, but he's preaching to the whole nation. So there's there's actually a reason why Jesus every time he pick a specific uh he pick a specific road or a specific path to preach to that specific person. Because he know that where is God's spirit operating at that time. You have to know that even before the for the earth is formed, that God's spirit is already starting to operate in that area. As long as he step into God's presence, he as long as he Come closer to that person. According to what the fathers want him to do. Amen. Amen. So you guys know that on Friday night we have the evangelism event at Vancouver Art Gallery. So you know that as long as you walk closer to people, and then God is actually looking for a shepherd that is willing. He is very ordinary. He is not a soldier. He want you to approach to that person. You don't have to do anything. As long as you stand, and you can allow the God working in that area. And let me share this example to you guys. In my church, I was ministering to young people. You know that there is a high school student. He's praying in his room. He spent a long time praying. And then God showed him an address. And then God showed him the name. And then he started to be obedient to wanting to find this address. But he doesn't have Google. He doesn't know where the direction is. But every time when he's standing at the crossroad, and then he starts praying. Lord God, whether it's left or right. And then the Lord God showed him the direction. And then until he find that address in front of that people's house. But he didn't know this man. But he knew the name because the Lord God showed him. So he started to look at the second floor. And Lord God said, look at the second floor. So actually, the person that 
the Lord God wants this person to find, he is a, a student and he has a uniform showing his name on it on the second floor. And he knew that this is the person I, I wanted to find. And then he's starting to knock the door. And then the mom opened the door. The mom didn't know him and he didn't know the mom. And then he said, I wanted to find this person. And then the mom said, he's at the second floor. And, and then he went up and then he started to knock the second doors. And he asked, Are you this person? Because he said, I am. And then he said, The Lord touched me and I'm going to preach the gospel to you. And then from, from now on, and then that person starting to commit himself in the church and starting to minister in the church. Amen. 所以，我要说，过去你会觉得我要成为一个战士才能派上用场。So a lot of people might think that in the past you wanted to be a soldier in the battlefield to fight for God.但是神要兴起的不是战士。But what God wanted to rise up is not a soldier.而是一个能为神站立的牧羊人。But it's a person, it's a shepherd who wanted to stand up for God.我要说，我们习惯用过去的经验来面对你现在的问题和困难。We always trying to use our past experience and decide what we are going to do right now.但现在不同了。But right now it's different.神要从习惯的方式当中改变用神的方式。And God want to change. He, your mind thinking and then wanted to change how you were thinking in the past. So in the battlefield, a shepherd is fighting a war is different. There's no person can believe that there is a shepherd can fight the battle. Even like he can stand on the battlefield ground. So in this in this event, actually we already have a different difference thinking between the Lord God and us. Because you are used to use your own experience. But God wants you actually experience his presence. Dear brother and sisters, you It's good. That you have your past experience. Because your experience can allow you to make a better choice. But it might not be a good choice. But experience God is a different thing. It's actually allowed to give you another choice. It's a new option. It depends if you wanted to believe God or not. And a lot of people might think, okay, there are too many undecisive components in this option. If I don't use my past experience to decide this new option, this new choice, it's too hard. There are too many undecisive things. But to the most people who believe, and in this undecisive uh, things that actually has God's presence in this options. What, what you see is those undecisive things or what you see is God's presence in this option. Your security, it doesn't come out from what God can help do, what God can do for you. Your security actually came from God's presence. Amen. So when David is standing on the battlefield that doesn't belong to him, and his battlefield actually is around the sheep. Why David choose to face Goliath? Rather than not facing those lions and bears. Because David saw God's presence in that battlefield. He knew that if he went back and to find those lions and bears, 
he will for sure lose the battle. 即便他有打败熊跟狮子的经验 ，even though he might have the experience to won those lions and bears， 但神的同在不在那里。But God's presence is not in there. 亲爱的弟兄姐妹 ，Dear brother and sisters， 不是找到适合你的战场。Do not find the battle that fit for you. 大卫是牧羊人，却站在以色列军队的位置上。David is a shepherd, but he's standing on the battlefield that facing with those people in Philistines. God want you to find a battlefield that has God's presence in there. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. You want to continue or not? You want to continue or not? You want more? Yes. Let's read this scripture, and then you will understand more. In Exodus 14 and 13. In Exodus 14 and 13. Okay, you read it first. Then Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Take your stand and see the salvation of the Lord, which He will accomplish for you today. For those Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see again. Okay, I'll read everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's <laughs> Exodus fourteen ten to fifteen. Yeah. As Pharaoh approached. The Israelites looked up and saw the Egyptian marching after them, and they were very frightened. So the Israelites cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, Isn't it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What is this that you have done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Did we not say, you, say to you in Egypt, Leave us alone. Le let us to serve the Egyptians. For it will have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. Then Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Take your stand and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For those Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see again. Then Lord will fight for you while you keep silent and remain calm. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the sons of Israel to move forward. As for you, lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. You know, Egypt to Israelites is a nightmare. And you know that actually Egypt to Israelites is like a nightmare. So when Moses brings all those Israelites out of Egypt, they are like a nightmare. So when Moses brings all those Israelites out of Egypt, they are like a nightmare. And actually, it's better off than they serve the Egyptian rather than stay in the wilderness. 不管旷野有没有水跟食物 ，because no matter if wilderness they have food or drink. 对以色列人来说，自由自由的生活已经是已经能够非常满足了。To those Israelites, freedom is a thing that actually they really need. 但是当以色列人看见埃及王和他的军队来的时候 ，But when the Israelites see The Pharaoh and then his army came, starting to approach to them. You know, 恐惧就立刻改变了他们原先的期待 And you have to know that actually fear changed what they, what they have the hope and expectations. 亲爱的弟兄姐妹 ，Dear brother and sisters， 不要因为恐惧而转向神 Do not because you're afraid and then you turn your back to God. 我再说一次，不要因为恐惧而转向神 Let me say that one more time. Don't because of fear that you turn back your turn your back to the to the God. You 应该是为了渴慕神，所以你来到他的面前。You have to actually seek the Lord's face because of uh your hope and your heart, your desire. 你渴慕来到他的面前。You wanted to be with him in front of him. 而不是你恐惧恐惧他而来到他的面前。And not because not. Because you are afraid, your fear that you wanted to turn your back to your God. I want to say, God will not answer your prayer because of your fear and not answer your prayer. Lord will not answer, not respond to your prayer because of your fear. I want to say, 任何一个人 
I'm going to say including everyone. 只要愿意来到神的面前，来到神的面前。As long as you're willing to come before the Lord. 神一定会为你摆设宴席。And Lord will prepare the table in front of your enemies. 但是恐惧的人无法从神的宴席中得到满足。But those people who have fear, they cannot get satisfaction during the table with in front of the enemies. Let me use an example. I want to use my second handsome brother. I want to use my second handsome brother. Just second. I'm second, first. Second, second handsome brother. Colin. Colin. Oh, you're first one. Oh, you one. Oh, I'm zero. He said he wanted to be the first one, <laughs> not the second one. Okay. I'll use an example. Let me use an example. This, this, this represents your life. This represents life. When you come to the church, there are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your heart. There are many things that you need to put in your And then your problem in the relationship. In your marriage problem. Your marriage problem. In 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 your marriage problem. Every time when you pray and then you feel like God didn't answer your prayer, 不是神不想祝福你。It's not what God didn't want to answer your prayer. 因为他的祝福要临到的时候，你的那个生命已经满了。Because when the blessing is coming over and your bucket is already filled, 你里面都是恐惧。Because there's too many fear inside your bucket. 那他要怎么来填满你 ？And but how he how he can use the blessings to fill you? 所以你不是带着恐惧来到神的面前。So you're not bringing up. Fear in front of the Lord. Is 渴慕 But you are going to actually bring your desire in front of the Lord. You know, you know, what is 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 And God willing to prepare all the table in front of the enemies. But I have fear of the people who cannot get satisfied. Because he wanted to be. Fear of the people who cannot be satisfied. Fear of the people who cannot be satisfied. So you have to empty yourself and then you come before the Lord saying, "Lord, I need you." So that's why you have to empty yourself and then you come before the Lord saying, "Lord, I want you. I desire you." Now, dear brothers and sisters. Dear brother and sisters. You know this God loves us so much. You know this God loves us so much. You know this God loves us so much. You know the first time when we come to Canada and then come to Pastor Sam's house. You know the first time when we come to Canada and then come to Pastor Sam's house. He has prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food and the table. He is prepared all the food And then God is shopping for you in His kingdom. And then He is bring all His gift and come to see you. So you don't be afraid because this is what Pastor Sam shared this morning. So you don't be afraid because this is what Pastor Sam shared this morning. Whoever has worry and then bear and then you need to come before me. So when you empty yourself and then you come before me, 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 and then you come Blessings to you. Because the Lord said, "My grace is sufficient for you." God is doing new things in your life. 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 New blessings pour out for you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes.
。跟你旁边讲说，你不是你呃，你不再有惧怕了。Tell your neighbors, don't be afraid anymore. Okay. More. More. Okay. 你知道摩西对着以色列人说 ，You know what Moses tell his people. 不要怕，要站稳。Don't be afraid. Stand on your ground. 不要怕，要站稳。Don't be afraid. Stand on your ground. Be firm. 我要说，不管现在你处在什么样的问题或是困境当中。And I wanted to tell you, whenever you're facing what trouble in your life today. 我要来告诉你。I wanted to tell you. 不要因为害怕而离开神的同在。Do not leave God because of the fear. 要持续站稳，直到神工作为止。You have to keep your ground and be a firm until the Lord start working. 持续站稳，直到神工作为止。On, you have to stand on your ground and be firm until the Lord start working. 要持续站稳，直到神的医治降下来。And then you have to be stand firm and until the Lord's Uh, healing come to you. 要持续站稳，直到神的供应降下。And you have to stand and be firm until God provide His blessing to you. 然后当神的同在要来造访这个教会的时候。And you know that when God's presence is starting to visiting this church. 你知道神在寻找的不是有才干、有恩高、有有能力的人。The Lord is not looking for people who has talent or who are capable. 他在看谁在这个困境当中是持续站稳。He's looking for the one who is standing firm and then be calm. Amen. Amen. 所以能使你在这个环境站稳，是因为你站立在信心的磐石上。And the reason why you stand On your ground and be firm because of your faith that you stand on your faith. You 站在这信心的磐石 You are standing on the rock of the faith. 你要持续站立，直到神工作为止 You need to keep standing and be firm until the Lord start working. 在这个信心的磐石上站立的时候，你就不至于动摇 And when you standing on the rock of the faith, that you will not shaken. So you have to be stand on on your on the ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your on the ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So you have to be stand on your ground and be firm. So What God is preparing for you, and then you can stand and then grasp His plan for you. Amen. Amen. So, 接着摩西又对以色列人说 So Moses starting to tell his people, 神要为你们作战，你们要镇定 God is going to fight for you. You need to be calm and then keep remain silent. 其实这一句话是对他自己说 And actually, what he's telling to those Israelites, he's telling himself too. 为什么 Why? Because Lord God told Moses long time ago what is about to happen. You can see in the Bible, God changed Moses' journey in the wilderness. You can tell actually the Lord God changed Moses during his way on in the wilderness. Then God, God let the Egyptian king go. And then the Lord allowed Pharaoh and then bring his army to chasing after those Israelites. 整个计划，摩西完全都知道。And then the whole plan, actually, Moses know. 只是有一件事情，摩西不明白。But there's only one thing that Moses don't understand. 为什么神要让以色列人困在进退两难的位置 ？Why God allowed Israelites to stand on the ground that they cannot? Go forward, and they cannot move back forward. Moses knows God will fight for them. Moses knows the Lord will fight for them. But in his heart, there are a lot of things that is unconcerned. So, uncertainty. 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 So, Did you notice that Moses' and God's four-way meeting? Yeah. Moses, 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 and God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
我讲对吗 ？Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's why the Lord tell Moses why you're crying to me. 所以你你要么发现到摩西跟神的思维模式的不一样。So did you realize actually in God's mind and in Moses' mind there are difference? 我要说，我要说，神正在带着摩西走进神思维的模式。I wanted to tell you guys, actually, God is bringing Moses into God's mindset. 进入他神思维模式模式的视视视野。And into he into God's mindset, and then to see from Lord's vision. 这样才能走过旷野，进入到神预备的。In order for Moses to bring those Israelites to Canaan, I want you to understand. I want to explain this. I want you to understand this. God is our best teacher. 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 And he always so patiently lead us to know what his heart. So when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the Lord calling Moses to bring those Israelites out of Egypt, so when the So actually, God led Moses to learn ten lessons in his life. This 十灾正在学习进入到神思维模式 And this ten disaster actually represent ten lessons to let Moses to learn how God is working. 当神告诉摩西要回到埃及带以色列人出出埃及的时候 When the Lord told Moses that you need to bring Israelites out of Egypt, 神是很仔细的告诉他该怎么做 God carefully show him the vision and the plans. 但是接下来摩西面对进退两难的位置是前面是红海后有追兵的时候 But when Moses in that situation that in front there is Red Sea and then at the back there is our army are chasing after them. 神只跟他说我要为你作战你要镇定 And Lord only tell him you need. To not be afraid and then be calm and remain silent. This ten lessons and this ten lessons. When you finish learning this ten lessons, your small exam, Moses' small exam, is facing the Red Sea. And this is your exam now. So, 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 so,
接下来我要，如如果我们换个角度来想 ，If we change our perspective， 如果摩西是用神的思维模式来看这件事情 ，If， 如果摩西是用神的思维模式来看面对红海跟这个追兵的事情 ，If Moses is using God's mindset to see how all the things start start working， 你知道摩西绝对不会向神哀求。You know for sure that Moses will never cry out to the Lord. He will not 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 cry out to the Lord. If only he has, he knew how God is working. He will keep moving forward. And then he will keep moving forward. 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 He will Even though all the Israelites complain to me, even though in front there's a Red Sea, 但是我有神的，如果我有神的思维 ，But even though all the thing happen, if I have, if I know what God is doing, 我不会抱怨 ，I will not complain, 我不会向上哀求 ，I will not cry out to the Lord, 我会继续前进 ，I will keep moving forward, 我会继续前进 ，I will keep moving forward. 你知道所有的计划。You know all these plans, 还有所有的安排 ，and then all this arrangement， 就是要让神所做的所神所有的计划和安排，就是要让摩西找到他的战场。All these things happen because the Lord God want Moses to find his battle. 神从摩西出生开始就为这件事情布局了。God already starting to plan everything at the moment when Moses. Born. He is already arranging the Lord God already arranged everything, and then for the moment like this. So, so when God said to Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, the water will part." So when the Lord told Moses, "Move your staff to the sea, And you have to know that how many people complaining around Moses. How many people are afraid? And how many people are afraid? And he saw those people are chasing after them. If Moses is not clear about God's mind, and he 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 is not clear about God's mind. Moses didn't understand the Lord's heart. He will feel that this is my battlefield. 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 同样，我要说。And I wanted to tell you guys. 我们会因为看见的问题和疾病。And then sometimes we are going to. 就认为这就是我们的战场。And then sometimes because of the disease, and sometimes because of the trouble, we think this is our battle. 我要说，亲爱的弟兄姐妹。I wanted to tell you, brother and sister. 没错。Yes, that's right. 你看见的是问题和疾病。And what you see is your diseases and your troubles. 但这不是你的战场。But this is not your battlefield. Because God wanted to tell you, I wanted to fight for you. I wanted to fight for you. You just need to stand up. 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 You just need to
God. As long as you give your worries to the Lord God. As long as you give your future to the Lord God. What you have facing, what you have facing everything, it's actually in God's plan and arrangement. As long as you move forward, and you will find the battlefield that help you to walk. Probably right now you're at the same situation like Moses that you cannot move forward and then backward. 但是, but as long as you stand on your battlefield, your victory is going to open a new path for you. Amen. 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 Do not because the trouble that in front of you you think, okay, this is my battlefield. And God didn't want you to stop. And God wants you to move forward. When you are won in your battlefield, all those complainers stop. All those fear and the worries will leave you. Because you open a new path in your troubles. And it's a path that no one can imagine. And only our great God knows. So you have to find your battlefield. So you have to move forward. So you have to move forward and then keep calm and silent. Because you have to know that the Lord God will fight for you. The Lord God will fight for you for your current situation. Because the Lord God will open the room in front of you. He will stop everything that you're not supposed to worry. And God will keep doing this. Until you find your battlefield. And you are going to use God. God's way to see all the things. Amen. 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 I wanted to explain what I'm preaching today. I wanted to use an example. I wanted to find some brother. Daniel. <laughs> brother, Daniel. I am my second handsome and Vic. Vic. Colin. And Vic. Yeah, yeah. And Colin again. You can. Okay. Uh, I wanted to use example. Okay. 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 And these two are angels. Okay. So, I want you to understand why I'm going to use this as an example. Why I'm going to use this as an example. I want you to understand. God said, I'm going to fight for you. And God said, I'm going to fight for you. You just stand still. And as long as you keep calm and remain silent. Because this environment will not be your battlefield. Because in this situation, it's not going to be your battlefield. Because the Lord God will fight for you in this battle. Because the Lord God wants you to move forward. Okay. 待会你们两，待会你们两个要是保护我。So later on, you guys, you two are going to protect him. 你要在我两边。And then you are going to stand beside him. 然后你们两个要想办法碰到我。And then you two are going to try to tackle him. 你们从后面。Yeah, 后面，从后面。Yeah, you are going to tackle him from his back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 现现在的处境是以色列人。So what happened right now? 我是摩西。Israelites. 我是摩西。Oh, he's Moses. He's Moses. 我是摩西。He's he's Moses. Who's? 对，他们是他们他们是 angels. Angel. 对，我是摩西。所以以色列他们以色列人有很多的。And then all this represents all the complaints and then fear around Israelites. 有有愤怒。And their angers. 哇，有很多的问题。They have a lot of problems. 但是但是若
但是论你一个人站在这个问题跟处境当中 ，if you are just standing in front of all these problems， 前面是红海。And then in front there are red sea. 你周遭的环境都是你的困境。All the things that are around you are troubles. 你会觉得这是你的战场。And you will feel like, okay, this is might be my battlefield. 所以你会觉得说我应该来抗面对他们。And then you will feel like, okay, probably I need to face him towards them. 我要来战胜他们。Probably I need to fight with them. 但是圣经上说我要为你作战。神说要为你作战。But in the scripture, the Lord said, I'm going to fight for you. 你只要镇定。As long as you remain calm. 就意思说神要一直。要持让你持续只等到你找到你的战场为止。Because the Lord wants you keep moving forward until you find your battle. 所以当你选择来我前进的时候，你就要攻击啊，然后你要想办法。So when he starting to move forward, don't touch me. Then you don't touch me. Okay. Okay. 当当你当当他继续前进的时候，开始。So when he they he. 他们要继续前进的时候。When Moses is going to move forward. 这不是你的战场。This is not your battlefield. This is not your battlefield. Because the Lord God is going to fight for you. As long as you remain calm. As long as you remain calm. As long as you remain calm. Your battlefield is in the sea. Your battlefield is actually in the Red Sea. Only the Red Sea can open a new way. Because it's only in the Red Sea that there's a new way to open. Praise the Lord. 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 Amen. Amen. So I want you to understand God's thinking. So I want you to understand how God's working. 对别人来说这是不可能的。To other people, this is impossible. 在神眼中是可能的。But in God's eyes, this is are possible. 所以在你的现在的环境的里面。So in your current situation. 这是神给你的课题课堂课。This is actually the lesson the Lord God gave it to you. 过了十堂课，二十堂课。After ten lessons, twenty lessons. 神就会让你找到你的战场，那是你的考试。And Lord God will let you to find your battlefield, and that's your exam. 你会开通一条新的路。Because you're going to open a new road. 因为神要为你开通新的路。Because the Lord God is going to open a new path. 你要行走在那个位置上。And you have to walk in that path. 你知道，你知道，在神在神眼中，在神。在神在神做事的原则的里面 ，because you have to know that in God's principle， 圣经里面提到就是在水水呃水的那个信息里面，关于水面上的信息的时候 ，because in that message about the water， 摩西摩西是走在干。摩摩西走在一个干旱的红海的路上。And Moses actually stand on the river side that has no water. 神让那个洪水分开。It's a dry land that Lord God separate the Red Sea. 但是你知道彼得。But you have to know that Peter. 彼得，神没有让那个加利利湖分开。Peter didn't separate the Galilee. 神可以让你行走在水面上。Because he want Peter to walk on the water. 所以神会用各样的方式让你经历它。So the Lord God will use everything to. 神过去在摩西的方式是分开红海。Because in the past, the Lord God used to separate the red sea. 而在新的时代里面， in the new time, 你要行走在水面上。You are going to walk on the water. Amen. Amen. 而现在这个时代， in this era, 在我们这个时代， in our era, 我们不会像彼得一样慢慢走在水面上。We are not going to follow like Peter. Walk on the water. 我们会在水面上奔跑。And we are going to run on the water. 我们会在水面上奔跑。You will see God's miracle on this place. Because the Lord God is going to bring His miracle on this place. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 The Lord wanted to repair the weapon that has already rotten. You might thinking I wanted to hold the weapon of King Saul. But the Lord wants you to hold the staff that has already broken. He wanted to repair the staff that has already broken. 
this broken staff. Because he wanted to give you the authority. Because he wants you to use this weapon in God's presence. And do not hide in the church. Do not hide it behind your leaders. You have to walk together with the Lord. You have to walk together with the Lord. God wants us to keep moving forward. There are too many troubles in our situation. Focus, and then God said, 专心, keep, keep moving forward. <laughs> wow. Wow. Amen. 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 And let us just stand. I forgot to say that today you have a lot of and uh, I believe you have a lot, you receive a lot of things this morning. Hallelujah. I believe God will do new things in this place. I don't want you to just have the revelation. I want your revelation become the truth. I want your heart to really experience this living God. I want your heart to really experience this living God. The Lord God didn't want to use your talent or capability, but God wanted to use your heart. Dear brothers and sisters, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. God is fighting for you, and He is already fighting for you. The more you're moving forward, you might have fear inside of you. You might have worries. You need to give it to the Lord God. You need to give it to God. You need to keep moving forward. Until you find your battlefield. And that battlefield will open a new path for you. And let us to close our eyes. And lift up our hands. And let God to touch you. Lord God, we welcome your presence. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. You release your people. I'm going to release your people. And Lord God, I pray that you will broke this lie. You will broke this chain that is on them. That you are going to broke the chains that are already broken. And they are free now. And they are released. And Lord God, I want you to give the faith in their heart. And anointing them. And keep using their faith. And let them keep moving forward. And let them to run and not weary. And let them to run to that. And they're going to forget about the past and they're going to keep moving forward. Even though there are a lot of things that in front of them. And the, our Lord God is a Lord God that opens wilderness. And Lord God, I want you to release the anointing and the gifting. And then give them a keep and calming heart. And you are going to touch their heart. Touch their heart. And let them to receive your presence. And let them to completely receive your presence. And let them to have no fear in your presence. And in his presence, there are boldness. Give them faith. Give them faith. And they are they have boldness to step forward. And in every step, they're going to witness God's presence. And Lord God, we thank you. And Lord God, we give your presence. To among us. And give what they supposed to receive today. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.